This blender is so shit, you have no idea. Every time. I genuinely can't tell if I still have some on my face, but I really don't care. Good morning, beautiful people. Do you know what? In my last, yeah, it was. It was in my last vlog I showed you. I had the Sun Warrior chocolate. If you haven't watched it, I'll leave it down below. I'm just like playing around with different vegan protein powders. Um, and actually in my last video, a few of you left me great example, because I just buy it myself now. A few of you left some really good suggestions on my last video. Someone said something about a cookies and cream one that is apparently really good. I can't find the comment now. If, if you are that person, can you leave the comment again? Because if that's a thing I need it in my life. Anyway, the chocolate one from Sun Warrior was good. But to be honest, it didn't taste that much of chocolate. It just tasted of stevia and like very sweet and like nice with other things. And I finished it pretty quickly as well. Now I have the vanilla. I can't even tell you which one's better because to me they both taste the same. They both just taste sweet. In this smoothie, which I chugged the other half from the jug. Why is it always so much better to chug from the jug? Do you know what I mean? I feel like it's just, like when I'm being really unsophisticated and like, not on camera. Sometimes I do just chug from the jug. I know many of you do that. Don't pretend you don't. In this mix, we have frozen straws, always a staple for me. I can't understand why they're so sweet. I've never even had a fresh, freshly picked, locally grown strawberry that sweet where they grow, where I used to live in the UK. And where, where, wherever you buy them in the world, frozen, they're just like, they taste sweeter than dates. I, I can't work it out. I do think about these things a lot. I know it's strange. What else? Oh, Persian, the little Persian dates. Guys, those little melt in your mouth nuggets of caramel is the only way to describe them. The funny thing is as well, I mean, we did buy those ones. I did buy those ones. That's a lie too. Jill bought those ones. She bought them from a grocery store. We usually go to here called Ica. Ica? Issa, I actually don't even know how to fucking pronounce it, but anyway. But the funny thing is, whenever you do get those kind of dates at like, and I, this is relevant to my day to day because I bought some fruit there earlier. Often in these places, I don't know if any of you guys have noticed this because it was it's a thing in the UK. I didn't know it was a thing here too. And I can say this because I am someone of olive skin and like Middle Eastern descent, but it is funny how they often don't have prices on the things, right, until you go to pay. My, what I would call fully, I mean, I'm white, but you know what I mean, like non-olive skin friends, they would go to like the Middle Eastern stores and they would charge them so much for certain things. And then like I walk in and they think I'm one of them. I don't even know where they're from, you know, and I just give it with the attitude of like, hey brother, like, hey, yeah, yeah, I wanna buy some mangoes. They literally will give it to me for like less price because we kind of look the same. And I'm not the only one that's picked up on that. My dad told me about this trick. I ran out of peanut butter, which is very criminal, I know. But this almond butter, guys, let me tell you. I, I was very, very, very tempted to drink it. Guys, this almond butter. I know I very rarely show you almond butters. It's more like peanut butters, but. Hold on. Hold on, you're going to see something you've never seen before because we got this almond butter from a health store here. It's not even a branded one. The texture is literally like liquid gold. It's like, I've never seen almond butter raw, roasted, whatever else they do to it. I've never seen almond butter this runny. Madness. Like I, I might even drink the rest of it later. It's drinkable. I've never ever seen almond butter like that. Hemp seeds, of course, good omega threes, good protein. Scoop of the protein powder, vanilla oat milk. I always get the barista ones. And then also because that one is like very, very, very sweet and the whole smoothie is very, very, very sweet. Then I also put some plain um, soy milk in as well. I think that was it. It's good though. I'm gonna chug, I'll be right back. 
Speaking of peanut butter, it is very embarrassing when I, it was not embarrassing, but no, it is embarrassing. Although they don't really know that it's me. The amount of jars I take out to recycling every week, they must think there's like at least 24 people living in here. This, I don't know, a lot of people were telling me on my last video what the best peanut butter here was. I think it's this one. If anyone wants to tell me otherwise, please tell me otherwise. But this one, um, like, it's 350 grams. It, like, it genuinely doesn't last longer than two days. And that's just, no, that's, that's smoothieing in the morning and then spooning at night. So I don't want to work that out, but that is a lot of peanut butter. I did start my day with coffee this morning. That's always a thing. The thing is at my gym, I go to a gym called Nordic Wellness, which I absolutely love because it's just, it's so clean. It's so, pres it's actually quite small, the one I go to. The problem is with the gym though, they have free coffee there all day which means it's a, just a danger zone for me because I will just keep going back for more. And with me, again, it doesn't give me energy. It just makes me sleepy. So I end up having sleepy gym sessions. And also, do you know what? They make their coffee. I thought I like my coffee strong, which I do. They make their coffee strong, let me tell you. Like, strong. Like, they'll fill up a whole cup and each mouthful tastes like espresso. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. When I was also in Sweden like this time last year, no, a bit earlier last year, and I put this on my story saying, how in the world can anyone, number one, I don't understand licorice lovers or likers. Jess, I know you're watching this and I still love you, but Jess is one of my best friends. Actually, she's not a friend, she's family and she loves this shit. Like I got her a stash last year and she said she ate so much of it that it like took the roof of her mouth off. Serves her right. I do need something salty now. You guys, you guys know I always start with sweet, then it's salty. Now it's not like sweet meal, and then a savory meal. Every meal now for me is kind of like sweet and savory, and then sweet and savory, and then another sweet and savory. So I want something savory now. I'm gonna make a big batch of this. It's kind of something I just dip at in the fridge. Um, basically, all we're doing is frying. We need some good organic carrots. Don't be, I, I, I'm not that kind of bitch that needs everything organic at all, but when it comes to carrots, it's a whole different vegetable. I've said this many times. All I do is fry them in discs in um, coconut oil and cinnamon and salt. Just trust me, just trust me. But once you go there, there's no going back. You always need them in your fridge. You always need it in your life. And when you want something salty, yeah. You can cut them in any shape to be quite honest, but I find these kind of like slanted discs to be, these are gonna have like an outer crust, sweet and salty crust, but um, it'll be like very chewy and a bit fluffy interior. Lots of cinnamon. I mean, it literally is the simplest thing in the whole world, but... Don't worry if after you fried them on a low heat, um, if they look burnt, it's not, it's the cinnamon. If you've used enough anyway, so. Gonna actually, for extra cinnamoniness, some cinnamon crunchy almonds on top. My favorite ones, I showed you, I think, in my last vlog.
I know I told you in my last vlog that um, we've been eating like 90% if not 95% home cooked food and meals. Yeah and luckily today we got invited to this incredible vegan cafe called Lotta Love. Hey babe, you like sit in front of the back? What do you think? They fed us well, they gave us a lot of food, sweet and savoury. But um, it was funny when we left, they were surprised, they were like, how did you eat all of that? And we were like, what? That was, <laughs> it was nothing. But actually looking back at the footage, we did actually eat quite a lot. But coffee, you know, me always with oat milk. Strong, creamy, hits the spot every time. We had some really nice thick and sweet, like tropical. Well, my smoothie anyway was with like pineapple and coconut and all of that good stuff. Smoothie bowl, by far one of the best I've ever had. Guys, you know me with smoothie bowls, I can't stand the stingy ones you get in the UK sometimes. Granola was insane. You get to like choose your own base and stuff. I went with the acai and banana, I think. But um, the nut butter I had on top, it's, it's almost like they knew, you know? It was a generous good portion, like even for me. <laughs> There's no way that was spooned on. Like someone poured like half a jar on my bowl and I was very grateful. Delicious like vegan cheese and pesto sandwich. Um, don't really do vegan cheese, but this one was like banging. And then on top of that, they were kind enough to give us some desserts, like a little Snickers ball, carrot cake, chocolate cake. So yeah, I rate this cafe highly. If you're in Malmo, Sweden, and you're looking for a good vegan joint, would definitely go there. Um, I'm not even being biased because of the amount of like the proper amount of nut butter they gave me, but it was genuinely just a really nice place. I don't know when you'll see this vlog, but I'm currently editing one that you may have already seen. When I do sit down videos, I um, I really, do, I've, I've said this on my Instagram stories before, but I just don't shut the fuck up. It's like, I, I want to talk about the subject and I just want to articulate and cover it from every angle. I genuinely only try and speak about things that I'm educated and or passionate about, but I just don't shut the fuck up. Like literally, I'm snacking on these green, white, I don't know, very crispy grapes. I've said this before, I've been saying it for the last couple of years, but grapes are a consistent, whether I show you or not, are a consistent daily must have for me. Just as much as oxygen, water, sex. can literally spoon coconut cream like nut butter. Yep. Snacking on these purple flesh sweet potatoes from last night. This dunked in coconut cream. Mm. I used to be all about fluffy, you know, I'm all about sticky, sticky rice with everything. It's 
sauce. Kind of looked like I ran out, right? But you guys know I've always got a backup. And this is the best one I found here. Unfortunately, it's in plastic. Um, squeezy tahini, which I would never usually go for. But it's the best one by far. And some hummus, because... Why not? Why ever not? 